Happy Tuesday, Mother Truckers. Welcome to Mother Trucker News. Email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com and we'll try our best to get all your concerns on this show because the reality of the show is just to share what every truck driver is thinking and talking about and I appreciate everybody for all the news clips as well. So the first topic in hand is the FMCSA. They're extending the public input deadline after receiving only 12 comments regarding revamp of carrier safety rating system. So every carrier has a rating system and they're thinking about revamping how that works. And they're super sad that only 12 messages, pretty much none by truck drivers, actually wrote into the FMCSA. And the reason why I would say that is, is because every single time the FMCSA asks truck drivers to do anything and go, hey, we really want to know your opinion on speed limiters, and then 10,000 people comment, and then you do the exact opposite. We really want to know what you think about self-driving trucks, and then 10,000 people comment, and then you do the dang opposite. So it's the same for the ELD. It's the same for the truck parking. Every single thing that the FMCSA has done and ask for the public, which are truck drivers, you have done the opposite. So it does make sense that truck drivers do not want to comment on this because you're going to do the opposite anyways. Question of the day, mother truckers. We have Tay here. He says, hey, do you think you can do a post asking people if they got paid from Convoy or how can you go about getting paid? They stopped answering my phone calls. So you know last week that pretty much the CEO said that they are done. They are shutting their doors. So at this point, I don't know if they can actually pay anybody. But if you guys have some information and you have been booking some loads with Convoy, uh, Tay has that question here because he wants to know how the heck he could get paid. So mother truckers, I'd appreciate you guys if you guys comment down below and let us know if you are in the same situation as well. Speaking about Convoy, uh, Joel has a very important video that he wants to show everybody. Just recently, he was out there at a truck stop and what does he see? He sees Convoy. I thought Convoy had shut down his doors. Today is... 823, Tuesday, October 24th, Arizona. I thought Convoy shut down the doors. Hmm. Now, I don't know if Convoy had their own trucks as well because I know that they actually were a freight digital brokerage, but mother truckers, what the heck is Convoy doing here? You know, Joel wants to know, and I want to know, but here's that video here. So, you know, did they really shut down? That's the question. Yesterday, there was a crazy crash in Louisiana, and it was super foggy, and they said that about 25 uh, cars piled up and three semi-trucks, and now they're digging into this after the cleanup, and they're saying that there is actually over 150 vehicles involved in this Louisiana pileup. According to AP News, uh, approximately 158 vehicles were involved in the pileup crash, which caught fire in multiple places. 25 people were injured and seven were killed. As of Monday evening, state troopers were working to notify families, investigate the exact cause of the crash, facilitate the inspection of the bridge. You know, uh, officials say that the foggy condition at the time of the wreck were made more dangerous when combined with marsh fire smoke, which created a super fog in the area. So, man, rest in peace to the seven people. You know, hopefully uh, everybody's OK, you know, uh, especially those truck drivers as well. But, man, 158 vehicle pile up craziness you know here's a picture of this showing this but i had so many truck drivers send me links and reports to this and we're just hoping that everybody's okay you know in a super fog situation i mean what do you do right uh, would a cb radio would driving slower would any of these things have helped but definitely it is crazy to see that 158 vehicles piled up you can even see one right here in the river Man, so intense, so crazy. Just wanted to give you the update on that. But yeah, it was super fog. That's what they're saying. Derek Perry wanted to share exit 49 I-75 in Georgia. It looks like somebody's going around and just drilling holes or slashing truck driver's tires. People are saying that it could be a tire shop. We don't know what's going on, but just wanted to give you that PSA as well.
overall, that's your segment for right now. You know, I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for emailing us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. You know, any concerns, anything you have in the trucking industry, please share to us. Links, we'll do our best to share everything we can. You know, I'll talk to you guys soon.